Lewis Hamilton would finish last if Mercedes star raced for Williams or Haas. Lewis Hamilton would finish last if he raced for Williams or Haas, according to Red Bull Alpha Tauri driver Pierre Gosley. The Brit is set to race for Mercedes again in 2022 as he looks to win the F1 title. He was beaten to the prize by Max Verstappen in controversial circumstances at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix last time out and will be seeking a response when the new campaign gets underway. Hamilton has dominated F1 for the most part ever since joining Mercedes back in 2012. Having previously claimed a maiden title with McLaren, the 37-year-old has won crowns with the Silver Arrows in 2014, 2015, 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020. That means he's now widely recognized as one of the best drivers in Formula One history, alongside Ferrari icon Michael Schumacher. Yet Alpha Tauri driver Gosley thinks that, if he raced for Williams or Haas, he'd finish last in the standings. Unfortunately in our sport, the car makes the majority of the result, he told Mashup. Even if Lewis, Hamilton, is the best driver in F1 history, today, in a Williams or a Haas, he would finish last. It's not even that he would be third or fifth, he would be 18th or 16th. Gosley's comments are controversial, inferring that Hamilton's vehicle is the main contributor behind his success. Yet the Brit is unlikely to care as he gears up for the start of the new season, which is due to commence next month. Hamilton, certainly, will go into the campaign with a point to prove. He felt he was flawless in the Abu Dhabi decider in December, with a safety car ultimately preventing him from reigning supreme. The Stevenage-born racer was in pole position for the majority of the race ahead of Verstappen. Yet he ended up missing out on the title in controversial circumstances, with the FIA now set to make changes to their structure as a result. Hamilton and Mercedes were irked by the decision-making of Michael Massey, who appeared to bow down to Christian Horner during the race. The FIA have promised widespread changes ever since yet, so far, the public hasn't been informed, just the teams. Nicolas Latoyfi was involved in the Abu Dhabi GP, with his crash leading to the chaos that played out in the Middle East. And the Williams star has revealed he hired a bodyguard when visiting the United Kingdom because he was worried a Hamilton fan would attack him. After visiting London recently he said, it might sound silly but at the end of the day you don't know how serious people are. All it needs is one drunk fan at an airport, or you bump into someone who is having a bad day and is intoxicated and has really extreme opinions. It takes just that one in a million person. When I was back in London, I had security with me at Winter Wonderland. Ahead of the new season, Mercedes trackside engineering chief Andrew Shavlin expressed a belief the new F1 rules can make the sport an even greater spectacle. One of the big questions that the fans are going to want to know the answer to is are these cars going to give us better racing, he said when reviewing the sport's rule changes. They should certainly be improved. A huge amount of effort has gone into these regulations, so that the car in front doesn't disrupt the airflow for the following car. That will allow the driver to stay closer and the closer you can get the more likely you are to be able to overtake. Will it make a track like Monaco an overtaking circuit? In reality, that's quite unlikely. The straights are too short, the track's too narrow. There really isn't any easy place around Monaco to overtake. But what we'll probably see at lots of the other circuits is that you can follow more closely, you can put the car ahead under pressure, it's easier to get within an undercut range. And importantly, there will be straights now where hopefully you can make a passing maneuver stick, whereas previously it wouldn't have been practical. So, all of that will start to get a flavor for it in Barcelona, in Bahrain. But really, it will only be when the lights go out for that first race that we'll know whether this project has been successful in that very specific regard.